CBS's The Young and the Rest of the Spoilers Thursday's full episodes, October 13th. Kyle wants Diane to tell the truth about her relationship with Tucker. Diane says she's been threatened by him. Her past is pretty dirty and Tucker knows it all. If she didn't do what he wanted, then everyone would know her past. The pain only Diane understands and now has her son who sympathizes with what she's feeling. Diane's an expert at lying and she's being honest with her words. Kyle should be careful. Sometimes she's even willing to lie to her son to achieve her goals. Taking advantage of the pity of others for one's own benefit is an unforgivable sin. Kyle said that he will protect his mother, whoever the enemy is, and they'll have to face the Abbott family. Phyllis wanted to ask Kyle what he t- when he talked to Diane about, and what did he say? Phyllis is always concerned about her enemies, but if she's being threatened by Tucker, it's unforgivable. Phyllis will help Diane defeat Tucker and restore peace to Genoa. A man isn't allowed to threaten harm in beautiful young women. Nikki knows that Noah is still having trouble controlling his own emotions. I'm stuck between Ali and Audra, not knowing who will suit me best. Ali meets Audra to talk about Noah and Newman together, and Ali wants to know what relationship they had before. And now, they want to continue it or not. Ali does not want to be the one to interfere in the love story of Noah and his ex-girlfriend because she has high self-esteem. She's afraid that she will be a saboteur and is afraid that others will get hurt for her. Noah loves Ali, and there must be a reason why he abandoned Audra to return to Genoa, which means he has stopped loving her before. Which Audra voluntarily came here to ask for forgiveness or a chance to return and hurt is hers alone? It's not Ali's fault. It's her fault for being so pretty and making Noah fall in love. And that's more than enough.